All right, so what we're going to do next is, uh, again, we're going to kill some Nereids, but we're going to use a slightly more aggressive technique. It's a little bit faster. Uh, it's also a little bit riskier, um, but it works just the same. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to use Boltrans to charm a Maiden. We're going to use that Maiden to kill some more Maidens, and then... When that thing's low on health, we're going to uh, kill it with our original mistress. We've got two maidens here on the left side. I'm just going to pull one of them out. If we're lucky, they'll both come together. They don't always both come together. Um, if they don't, it's not a big deal. Okay, this time she came alone. And um, again, breaking the water here blurs them, so if that gets resisted, you could just hop out of the water and try again. We'll grab this one as well. Oop, that was interrupted. You want to make sure you're totally not moving. You can tap the space bar to go up and down. Or sorry, you can tap the space bar to go up when you're in the water. And um, you've got to be totally not moving in order to pull off the cast. Same thing as before, we just want to get this thing with feedback and haste. In this case, I did haste first because I hadn't charmed this before, so it wasn't hasted, so haste is more important. Um, but if you're using the Mistress Dictate method, the haste lasts long enough between charms that you can start with feedback and then haste them after that. Again, same as before, we're guarding with this maiden so that... Uh, when she finishes killing this target here, she doesn't bolt up toward the surface toward me. If charm breaks right now, they'll both just reset and go back and no harm, no foul. Uh, if you have two mobs on your charm pet, if you have two maidens, sometimes you'll still get summoned. Um, so you want to try to make sure you're always only fighting one mob. So as we're getting low here, I'm going to target my pet. And I'm going to use Improved Invis instead of my Gauzy. One of the advantages of using Improved Invis over the Gauzy is you don't lose your target. And I don't want to lose my target because he's going to start trying to run away. And I want to be Invis and get in position here so I can start casting a Rapture. And then immediately Tash her so she doesn't regen because Rapture has a pretty high blur chance. So now we've got her over there, and now we'll go back to our dictate technique. And we'll send our dictated mistress over. And she'll finish, uh, she'll finish herself. Uh, so the nice thing about this technique is you can use that initial maiden to kill one or two maidens, and then use this mistress to, uh, to kill your original pet. It's a little bit faster. It's of course a little bit less safe because the Boltrans charm can break at any time. And if you're in the water, when it breaks, you will get summoned. Um, but this lets you essentially get two kills in the same or just slightly longer time window uh, as you would with the dictate technique. It's a good combination of um, speed and safety, as it were. 